Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the final part of my 2018 planner flip through to share with you all. I will be posting a sped up version of this tomorrow on Friday. If you're watching this later, it's already probably up. All of the other parts will be linked down below if you've missed them, but yes. Today, we are flipping through the last quarter of 2018 for the months of October, November, and December, so let's just get into it. I think that was a fun couple of months, or at least the planner kits that I used were really beautiful. So we started off October with all of the spoopy spreads and I used pastel Halloween from Scribble Prints Co. And you gotta do the Viv Wiggles whenever there's foil around. It's so stinking beautiful. And I love this boo sticker from Glam Planner. Let's see what happened. I finally got to Deathly Hallows this week. Did I finish Deathly Hallows this week? I did not, <laughs> but, oh no, I did. I did finish reading Deathly Hallows this week. Oh, that's very exciting. Yes, I finished reading Deathly Hallows. Watched the first part on Sunday, but what else happened? I had pho, I had what else? I bought a birthday present for Bennett because his birthday is the week after this one. Played some more Hogwarts mystery, what else is new? And I love this box here, it says, is this half box worthy? We were trying to figure out for a while like what quote should be on this box and then Emily came up with this one, which is hilarious. Then we have eat more candy. What else happened this week? Random to do's, got some pins. And these nails are bomb. Yes, it was a good week and it's very, very pretty. Also, I used this really pretty sorbet washi from Scribble Prints Co. and it was beautiful. There's gonna be a really weird cut there because I flipped the page and completely forgetting that I have a photo of Bennett in the next spread. So now I'm looking for like a post-it note or something to cover his little one-year-old face with. Let me just, sorry, grab. And turn. Sorry, Bennett, you're in the witness protection program. There we go. Okay, so here we are. This week I used the Wild One kit, which was specifically made for Bennett Andrea's little baby boy for his birthday, and it was themed after his birthday party. So I did fly to Texas this weekend, and we did a lot of things to celebrate Bennett's birth. Um, I had to, I had a really bad sleep schedule this week, so I needed to fix that and put that there. Used a lot more foil. This week had like Bennett's birthday. Um, Andrea had a custom of this, so I took, let's say I stole one, but she gave it to me, so I took it. I finished watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, was done with my Harry Potter read through and watch through, had some study days, and then I went to Texas this weekend, ordered my Halloween costumes, it's very exciting. Then it was actually Bennett's birthday on Wednesday, but we celebrated on a Saturday, which was a really fun party. We played Mario Party, we ate a lot, it was a lot of food, which I feel is just like the theme of Texas. Then we went to the Art of Ice Cream Museum, which was a lot of fun. We got a lot of fun pictures. And then I left on a Sunday morning and had to do all the studying because I think this was around like when midterms and a lot of tests were happening. But this is a really cute kit and I'm glad I got to celebrate Bennett's birthday with a really fun theme because this is just so, so stinking cute. Okay, now let's move this and I'll just remove that because I'll forget if I don't. So next up we have the Coco inspired kit, which is oh, so bright and colorful and I love it. And I thought it'd be perfect for Halloween since Day of the Dead is at the end of the month. Well, it's actually in the beginning of November, but I thought it was like perfectly Halloween-y and it came out the uh, previous Halloween. So I really, really was happy that I got to use this. The art is so stinking beautiful. And I used it for this week because I was actually leading for Disney on that Sunday. But before that, what did I do? It's a lot of study days. I had a bone practicum, a lot of school stuff, anything else, nothing. Set up spoopy background. Oh, that's when I was gonna film my uh, magical collab with Castor Magic, and I wanted to do a really fun setup for the drinks and for B-roll. Um, it wasn't that great, but I loved it so much. It's fine. And then I had another study day. I filmed my video. I booked my studio tour tickets in London because I am going this year. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year, everyone, because I'm filming this on January 2nd of 2019. We're in a new year, so like, Happy New Year, everyone. So yeah, I booked those. I had more study days. I went apple picking, and then on Sunday, I left for Disney and we went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and Andre and I were just as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I actually have a picture of it up on my personal Instagram if you guys want to check it out. But I used a lot of Disney stickers. Um, I used Cruella for the parade because she was one of the only like Disney villain stickers that I liked um, enough to match this kit. Then I used the Sanderson Sisters Scribble Sanderson Sisters Scribblers. Jeez, I knew that was hard when I was filming this video and it's hard to say now. 
to mark the um, show that we watched, then the Boot to You parade, and then watch the fireworks with the little like heart fangirling munchkin. This is a really cute week. I love the colors in it so much. Now we move on to the first couple of days that I spent in Disney, but I used the Hocus Pocus kit from Scribble Prince Co. Oh my god, I love this kit so much. I strategically put the girls, the Sanderson, Sanderson sisters, in the middle because I like wanted them to be front and center and I feel like that would be really, really cool. Then I put a sticker here with I put a spell on you. I think this is from um from Glam Planner as well. Any of the quotes are from Glam Planner, so this is really cool. I was in Disney for these two days. We did a lot of stuff. I used a lot of the um Disney scripts that I did for Scribble Prince Co. in the foil to like mark all the days and stuff. So that was a lot of fun. I was so sad that I had to go um, back home and straight into a test because my flight was really, really late. Then what happened? Then I had a lazy day. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina came out, which is a really, really good TV show. It's from the same people who make Riverdale. I don't watch Riverdale, but I really enjoyed um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I think it's because it has like that whole witch vibe so I could sit through it more. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. Then there's the Four Rouge sale, had dinner at my cousin's, and then I went to a Halloween party with my sister, my cousin, and my sister's friend. Um, I was sober the entire time, which was fun up until the actual like headliner came out and then everybody was in the club and I was just, I was just not having it. And I'm like, I see why you need to drink when you go to these things. But yeah, it was still a lot of fun and I got to dress up, which is what I feel like I miss out on every, like I've missed out on like dressing up every year since graduating high school, but it was really fun to dress up. I probably would go again just to dress up. And then as soon as the headliner was about to come on, I think I'd leave. Cause besides that, it was pretty fun. So yes, now moving on to the last Halloween spoopy week, I used my very first photo kit and this one is just gorgeous. And I love all like the extra white space around it. Plus all these like candy corn colors. It's so pretty. It didn't have much to do on actual Halloween. I feel like I celebrated the weekend before, but still Still, I had like a spoopy movie marathon. I watched Coco, I watched Hocus Pocus. I think I watched something else that was Halloween related, but now I can't remember what it was. I think I watched Nightmare Before Christmas, which is like debatable if that's like a, holiday, a Halloween movie or like a Christmas movie. Who knows? I watched it and just had a little pamper night and ate a few bits of candy. I didn't eat a lot. I, re I wrote eat all the candy, but I know I didn't. Um, what else happened this week? Oh, I planned London and Paris with my mom. And then the um, music for Cursed Child was released on that Friday. So of course I had to mark it big and everywhere because I was obsessed with Cursed Child music. Um, like as soon as I left, I was like, I want to see it again just to hear the music because it was all stuck in my head and I was really upset. I couldn't just like download it onto my um, phone right away. So yeah, I had the Kershaw music was released, then I went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody, which was great. More beautiful music for my years. I love Queen so much. I was so happy to see it. I did get to see it again. Then I remember I went, well, I don't remember, but it's right here. It says, visit the MoMA. So I went to go see that with my dad, and it was really fun because we just, it was just like the similar reactions to all the paintings, and there was like a moving piece of dancers and it shooketh us to our cores and it was just really a really fun bonding experience with my dad so yeah that was this week and now we move on to the first full week of November I voted on this day and I used a cute um wonton and a million freebie I really like it it's so cute it was like I made them in like so many different sizes but I was like that one is perfect and just remember that for some reason I saw a star is born um, I don't know. This just, this kit just gave me like fall vibes, but it was also princessy. Like it was themed kind of after Belle from Beauty and the Beast and I really liked it and wanted to use it. None of the other like fall kits were screaming out to me. I got to use this really pretty um, washi that was a collab between uh, Paper Factory and Simply Gilded and it matched this week so perfectly that I was just like, wow. It was meant to be. Of course, there are more study days. There's one where I studied in class because I realized I don't learn anything in class and I learn everything um, better when I do it myself and take my own notes. And then I went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody again and of course did more studying throughout the week. That's kind of the theme up until, you know, actually I think it's up until Hanukkah I have a lot of study days and for some reason I just fall off the face of the earth with studying. So yeah, that was this week and now let's move on to the week that Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald came out. I've mentioned my opinion about it many a time on my Instagram and in this plan with me, so I'm not gonna go into it, but I did see Crimes 
Crimes of Grindelwald this week and I did want to do a themed week for it because I was super excited to go see it. So I used the Station Stickers Fantastic Beasts kit and I thought it came out really cute. I had like blanket planner headers in here and it was just really nice. I read Night Circus. I also got sick which was fantastic. Oh, I do not remember that being really fun. Um, there was a game night. I played Monopoly when I was supposed to be writing a paper. I remember that very, very clearly. It was my uncle's birthday. Um, I have a thing in here that says don't stress, but I was just always so freaking stressed up until class ended. Oh, I didn't check off a mark here. Don't know why, but I really like it when they're checked off. So I probably did record the, oh, I definitely did record the voiceover. So we're checking that off. I had more exams this week, booked some Mickey exhibit tickets. It was all very, very fun. It's a very pretty week. Ooh la la, and that viv wiggle. It's not viv wiggling as much, but yes, this was a good week and it was really fun. Now we're moving on to the start of the Holly Jolly season. And the start of the Holly Jolly season is always with Thanksgiving. So I used this kit from Glam Planner and I loved it so much because of this box here that is like a scene with a TV over a fireplace and it has the Thanksgiving Day Parade on the TV. And I just love the Thanksgiving Day Parade. That is like, you could not have a dinner, but as long as I watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade, my Thanksgiving is made. You have gather, gobble, wobble, shop till you drop. It's very, very cute. Um, what else? I started watching Christmas and holiday movies this week. This cute little um, one ton a million sticker to note Thanksgiving dinners. Really, really cute. What did I do? Make DIY potions. Oh yes, I did that too. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon to make like little DIY potion replicas. Um, they kind of didn't... They looked really cool at first and then they all separated so now it just looks like glitter on top and bottom with like clear stuff in the middle. I mean they still look cool but it was just like I need to find a way to make this better. Um, yeah, I had to cram for all of the exams because I just was not studying for some reason, so that happened. And then Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, I, I like how I just jumped right back to that. I'm like, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I noticed the cute pastel scribbler and I was like, that is so cute. So yeah, that was my Thanksgiving. And then we move on to a sort of wintry Hanukkah kit. There was a Hanukkah add-on for this and I feel like I only used one sticker and that was the quote box, which said, let the light shine bright. I thought it would be perfect for Hanukkah because of the blue and silver themes, but then also bringing in some bits of the gold. I did mixed metals because th th this kit was just screaming for both and I was like, I hear you, I'll do this for you. So yeah, this was the week of Hanukkah. I didn't do any studying. There was um, Cherry Wallace's magical pin release in which I got two of them. I introduced my cousins and some younger family members to Eight Crazy Nights, which is like Jewish movie, I don't know. What other Jewish movies are there that are as entertaining as that, but I don't know. Um, I watched more holiday movies. I planned out some um, holiday weeks that I was just too impatient to plan out. And then I finished my research papers, went to a trampoline park, which was a lot of fun. I kind of want to go back. I'm going to ask my sister if she wants to go back now because I kind of want to like, you know, get a little workout in and jump on a trampoline. Um, so yeah, it's my cousin's birthday on this day, wrapped some gifts worked on a research paper and then it was Hanukkah. So yeah, this was a really, really fun week. There got like a lot done and I did a lot of fun things, but I didn't get any studying done whatsoever. Like I don't see a lick of studying. There was a study day here, but it looks very stressed out. And it was the first night of Hanukkah. This little sticker from my shop. I hand letter that. It's so pretty. Ooh. Ooh, this kit was so much fun to use and I'm so sad that I almost didn't use it, but happy that I got the opportunity to. Opportunity? I've been watching a lot of Dairy Girls, so if like a bit of Irish comes out, my bad. But yeah, so this is the Barbie Christmas kit from Scribble Prince Co. I have my little, um, I guess, count up of Hanukkah here, which is really, really pretty in that silver. I thought it had added a nice little something something to the bottom washi, but I just, I don't even care what I did this week, but I just love all the colors. They're so bright and neon and pink and fun. And just all the little like deco in all the boxes is super duper cute. I have my date covers and the deco up at the top. Did I start using date covers? Like, yeah, I started using date covers more consistently. I was like, I kind of love them. They're really cute. And then putting the deco up at the top, I'm finally converted. So yeah, there was a bunch of study days in here because I did have a lecture on um, this day and I know I failed it. Like I think I was like two or three points away from passing, but it was not a good grade and I knew I was gonna drop it, but like still I was like, no. I started studying for my finals, which I think were 
oh, it wasn't even finals week yet. We were just getting all these papers. Um, so yeah, I had to do a lot of studying because I feel like um, I didn't want to fail the next one because this is the, this one was okay because it wasn't gonna count. But anyway, it was a super cute week. I spent all of it in my pajamas as I am being reminded by these boxes and it makes me really glad I, drew, I, I make these little boxes because I just realized I did spend most of my day um, in my pajamas. I started filming my planner flip throughs and it only took me a few months to do them, but here we are. So what else? Oh, I ordered my Pele um, rings planner while everyone was at winter planner land, which was great because it means I don't have the fastest ninja fingers, but it meant that I was able to snag a Pele ring planner with a glitter spine. I'm so excited for it to get here. I have all my, whoops, inserts and stuff like printed out and like clipped for now. So these are from um, the Planner Sophisticate. I think I dropped something. Does that look important? Oh yeah, it's, uh, I, I took off one of the little things for my manicure. Ta-da, little stick on there. But yeah, so I ordered that planner and I'm really excited for it to get in. On Saturday, I jammed out to Christmas music. I went to the Winter Village. I didn't get to ice skate, but that's okay because I did eventually get to ice skate later um, at the end of the month, but then I got a s'mores hot chocolate and it was just fun to do the Winter Village with my dad. And then it was my cousin's birthday and more studying, but I love this week so much. Like just even looking at it as a whole is so freaking beautiful. Next, let's move on to a really exciting week for me, which was, well, in terms of kits, because I know I had a miserable Thursday, but this is, the, this is the first time I got to use like a scene sort of kit. I've used scene type things before, I think one time a while ago, but it was the first time that like it covered up the bottom washi and the full box and made like a proper scene. So I was really excited to use this, especially because it was sort of my last Harry Potter kit of the year and it was really fun that I got to be Christmassy. I added some foil onto the tree to make it shine like, like a real Christmas tree. Then this was actually my last week of classes so I did do a lot of studying because even though finals were the next week, I still had a lot of tests for some reason on this week which was not not a great time, but I did get a lot of happy mail. What else happened? This day just sucked and we're not gonna talk about it. Oh, me and my sister picked up her boyfriend's kitty cat, which I then would later just be like, oh, the cat, but he was so cute and little for like the 30 seconds that I had him. And then I went to the Union Square Holiday Market. I spent the day with my mom in the city and then just, more studying and going to the movies with my dad and we saw a movie we did not like but yeah I really love how this week came out it also started my little obsession with like the deco bits up at the top I don't know if you can see them but the stars up here those are from Scribble Prince Co I freaking love it and it's kind of become a new obsession as you will see into this week which is the second to last week of 28 my 2018 planner so this oh, is in is in competition between this this week okay this week this week and the week in July and June, which I've shown before, but we're gonna show it again because it was pretty. Wait, where is it? <gasps> oh no, was it in July? I'm pretty sure it's probably in July. Wait, where is it? You guys are probably like, we saw it in the other ones, Jess. We know what you're talking about. Okay, so like this week is in the running, this week is in the running, and this for like my favorite spread of 2018. But I can't pick because they're like my babies and I love them all, so we're moving on. But this week was so 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 pretty it was the uh, um wonderful photo kit from scribble prince co i've got my little dots going on here i have little stars in the middle of the like week and the days where usually i would put little hearts and pen but putting it in a foil sticker is way cuter i have two of the squared off boxes here probably my favorite sidebar i've ever done like just look at it tis the season to sparkle and boy does this spread do that just so stinking beautiful. I had my finals week and then it was the magical readathon, which I epically failed, but we're not gonna talk about that. I had all my finals, I had to study whole day, and then I had my last final in A and P. On this day, I got all A's. I was super excited. I went into the bathroom and cried a little bit because I was just like so proud of myself. I am, I was always like, a, like, I got like A's in classes where it was easy. Like I knew they were easy A's, but then like B's and C's were like my standards. So to get two A's, I know I worked for them, was the best feeling in the world. But yes, I mean, I could have probably mentioned that in the next week because I marked it, but 
I digress. So yeah, this week was really fun. I didn't get to like relax until I think Friday night. I <laughs> did a mukbang with Andrea. Like we were on the on FaceTime together, just like eating and telling like stories and things like that, which was really funny. And then I took my mom and sister on a spa day as their New Year's present because they complained a lot about being tired. So I was like, relax. And I took them to the spa, which was really great for them and for myself. I didn't get a massage, but it was just really fun. This is a Oh, this was just a really pretty week, guys. I'm like looking at it and I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. It kind of speaks for itself. And then I had my Christmas countdown over here. And on Sunday, I left to Austin, Texas to spend the holly jolly days and Christmas with the Ravers, which was really exciting on this day. Um, we did a lot. We, me and Andre went to the Domain. We ate at Cilantro, which was my first time eating there. And it was really, really good. We went to Barnes & Noble, Target. Uh, it was a lot. And then we went to Uchi, which was just delicious and delectable. I ate so much I couldn't like breathe until I fell asleep. And then we saw lights around her neighborhood, which is we just like drove around and looked at all the lights. So that was a lot of fun. And last but not least, we have the final week of 2018, which is the week of Christmas. And I used the Sugar Plums kit, the mini kit from Scribble Prince Co. It was really, really Ready, like just look at all the gold foil. It was a really fun week, you guys. Like, just a really fun week in general. I was in Austin for a majority of it, but we did we got so much done. There's like a bunch of the um Christmas bucket list foil in my handwriting from Scribble Prince Co. And here we had Christmas Eve dinner, we had Christmas Day dinner, we exchanged gifts. I saw Spider-Man into the universe into the universe, into the universe, into the Spider-Verse, which is really, really good. And I really like that song in it. That's like, oh, geez. And the kid was like singing, he sang it like three times during the movie and I was just living for it because that was probably my favorite part. But yeah, just hung out, did a lot of shopping, did a lot of eating. I got to watch a lot of movies I haven't seen. So we watched Night School, we watched mid nineties, we went to Chewy's for dinner. I played a lot of like board games with Nick, which was really funny because we were all like really politely competitive. Like, like uh, genuinely politely competitive because we were playing Uno and he's like, I don't know if I should use this card because it means I win. And I'm like, just use the darn card. And then I'd be like, oh, I feel kind of bad for using this card. So it's just, just two Hufflepuffs playing card games. Then let's see what else. Oh, I really like this little sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. And then it says Christmas at the Ravers. And then on Thursday, I, I should have used like a half box sticker for packing my suitcase back. It was 10 pounds overweight. So I had to carry that 10 pounds in my backpack, which was nuts. I also found out I got all A's on this day, but I already told you guys that story. Andre and I printed some inserts. And then um, I, will, I actually went to work with Andrea on this day and <laughs> she fired me. I was trying to like, she was like, let me put her to work for a little bit while I'm here. And I'm like, okay, she told me what to do. And I royally jessica it up. So I got fired, but she still let me go shopping at SPC. So I marked that instead because it was really positive. Um, on Friday, I went home. I read uh, Mistletoe and Mr. Mr. Wright, which I... If you guys watched my readathon video, um, it took me two years. I've had this book for two years and I hadn't read it. So it was really nice to read that story. And it was based in Ireland. So I was like living for it on the plane so, so much. And I think the main character's name was Jessica, which I was just like, was not expecting. I feel like I knew that when I first picked up the book, but like seeing it and like not under not knowing that it was her name, I was like, this is about me? Am I gonna marry an Irishman? I'm so excited. <laughs> so yeah, that was that day. My sister picked me up, we went shopping, she brought me breakfast, and then I unpacked and started watching Dairy Girls because I found out it was on Netflix, which is so great because I love that show to pieces. Then on Saturday, I hung out with my friend Carla. We made Coquito, we went to the grocery store. I booked tickets to go see Cursed Child, which was a really big back and forth because nobody wanted to go see it. Well, nobody wanted to go see it with me. Then people said they'd go see it with me. And then I told them the price and they were like, are you nuts? And then, um, yeah, it kind of went from there. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go by myself. And I found tickets for $230 for both parts, which is I think a steal. And I get to sit up in the dress circle, which means this time I'll get to see the Dementors. It's not really a spoiler, but there are Dementors in the show. And I didn't get to see them last time because I was underneath the dress circle, but still, I'm so excited to see the show 
to go do, to see the show, hear the music again, but like fully appreciate it. Go do Stage Door, get my Chris Child book signed, and hopefully I have the balls to ask Anthony Boyle for a picture. Hopefully he's there, but I really, oh my God, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy I get to go. Um, Yes, I'm so pumped. Um, then I did a lot of planning, had to pack again because I left for um, Philly to my sister's boyfriend's apartment because we were spending New Year's with him and his friends. So we got to, well, he actually lives like all out of Philly, but we, went, we actually drove to Philly. We went to this cafe called Cafe La Mode. They had the best chai latte I've ever had. It was delicious. Then we finally got, I, well, at least I finally got to go ice skating um, in a place called Dilworth. It was like a little plaza in front of like a congressy looking building. And then there was a holiday market. I got to eat a Philly cheesesteak and then got home to uh, my sister's boyfriend's apartment and play board games and Super Smash Brothers on the Switch, which was just the best way to end this week and in preparation for a wild New Year's Eve. So yeah, you guys, that is the end of my 2018 planner. I have to just film the quick flip through and then I get to bound this baby, 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 baby. That could have gone so much more smoother than it did, but I get to bind this baby up and put her with the other planners. This is my fourth finished planner, and this is actually my fifth. I already started um, planning the week. I can't believe I'm on my fifth planner. They're so fully decorated and packed. I just love planning so much. Planning, memory keeping, whatever you wanna call it, this is the best planning scrapbook in the world, and I'm so happy that this is one of my hobbies and I can look back at all of these and just remember all these fun activities, thanks to the kits and the stickers. It's all so good, I'm very emotional right now. But yeah, so what else is back here? There's just a bunch of stickers that I've gotten randomly and have kept, some boxes from Glam Planner that I never put in kits, this Furby of Death, which I just could not throw away, so I put back here, my I Voted sticker, and what's back here? Uh, just like, I guess, me testing pens and stuff. That's cool. Kind of flimsy, no? And then my little pouch of things that I just keep throughout the year, which is a lot lighter because I've tried not to be a hoarder and keep only the important stuff. But yeah, this is my little pouch. And oh my God, this is what my mommy sent me on my first day of school. She packed me a little snack, like lunch thingy, and she wrote, good luck, love you with a heart. So of course I had to keep that. And that is the end of my 2018 planner, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like I said before, or probably didn't if I cut that out from a different part, all of the other parts of this flip through will be listed down below. And I do have a plan with me up for 45 plus weeks of this year. So definitely go check those out. They will be up on my channel. If you're interested in any of them, I'm really proud that I've only managed to skip like maybe five weeks. So yeah, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. I had to make this a voiceover because I said a lot of stupid stuff at the end that made absolutely no sense. So yeah, bye.